they just play music loud all the time. Pretty much seems like just when we are home, it seems like they're home all the time. And the music starts right about the time I close my car door. Been louder during the hours they're allowed to play music. So it, it seems like it's stopping around 9, 9.30 now. There's no telling. So this past weekend, I made eye contact with one of the yeah, neighbors. The music started two like minutes later. Georgia transparency is going hot. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Without further ado, let's quickly hop right into this, shall we? A residential neighborhood in the LaGrange, Georgia has been getting complaints of some loud music being played. Um, so what we're concerned about is during the day um, on private property and the complainant reached out to Georgia Transparency to tell their side of the story and we agreed to take you know what they wanted to say and everything but they had asked that we do not make it public which makes no sense whatsoever because you want to tell your side however you want it to remain private so we're going to play some of the body cam footage and then play uh, something that the officer said that was pretty alarming that he didn't hear any music this time, but he's gonna go ahead and cite them for loud music. It's just, uh, it's weird. All right, let's let's uh, let's get into it. All right, I'm Officer Hall. What brings you to the police department today? Um, I'm not sure if you've been able to look at the, the history of my complaints against my neighbors. Um, I've called the police. We're probably on the fifth complaint now. Um, you called four previous times? I think so. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, man, they just play music all the time and it's just, it's just loud and sorry, I need to, it's a little upsetting. Um, they just play music loud all the time. Pretty much seems like just when we are home, it seems like they're home all the time. And the music starts right about the time I close my car door. Um, and, you know, so, for example, yesterday they were playing extremely inappropriate rap music while my four-year-old was trying to play outside. My wife asks them to, you know, at least keep it PG. Um, they proceed to turn the music up only when they hear my son playing. So it seems like it's just starting to get, I, I don't know the right word, like they're doing it just to piss us off because they know it makes us upset. Um, we're not able to enjoy the piece of our own home at all. Um, I understand I'm not supposed to call noise complaints until 10 p.m. was what the 911 operator told me. But I've also, you know, tried to do some digging. The only thing I can read from the city of LaGrange about noise is this, you know, generally it should be unlawful for a person to make, continue, or cause noise that disturbs, injures, or endangers comfort, repose, health, peace, or safety. I can't even, you know, sit in the, on my back porch and drink a glass of tea at five o'clock without hearing music. Uh, my wife sent me a video from about 20 minutes ago. This is her on our back porch. So I, I mean, I know that doesn't give you any scale, but and she's in the and she's in our backyard. Yeah, probably a good, you know, good. 100, 150 feet from their pool. They're just always having pool parties and I guess really why I'm here is I'm trying to figure out what I can do 
um, legally, obviously, to, to make the stop. Um, my son doesn't want to play outside because their music's too loud. Their party's on the weekend, they're screaming. He's coming out of his room. Why are people screaming outside my window? Um, and um, I'd like to be able to do something about it, I suppose. And how long has this been going on? They moved in around Christmas. A lot of music probably started, I don't know. Let's see, I mean, we it maybe back in February or March. We had an officer out last two weeks ago, and they spoke with. Um, this was after I, my wife and I disagree about the definition of this word. I believe I was threatened by the neighbor. She doesn't see it that way. Called the police out around 9:30. They said they couldn't do anything because noise doesn't start till 10. So they had a, you know, a nice 10-minute chat with the neighbors. There's been some more animosity since then. They've driven their diesel trucks in front of my house and you know, rolled the coal and revved the motors, staring me in the eyes, flipping me the bird, like. Uh, I'm at the point where like, I feel unsafe playing with my son outside in our carport with the sun out. Uh, like I said, my wife and I disagree about you know, what, what she considers threatening and what I consider threatening, I suppose. And I know the court certainly probably has its own definition. You have a four-year-old son? I do. Whose, whose window, unfortunately, if this is their pool, his window's right here backed up to us. So he's on the well, I can tell. There is no time frame. They have it for the fireworks, but it's like any other type of noise is still a violation if it's disrupting the peace. Okay. Well, when I called last time, she just mentioned that they couldn't, you know, wouldn't give a ticket until 10 p.m. She made it sound more like it was a department policy. Which I definitely get, like, not sending out calls for noise at 2 in the afternoon for a leaf blower. They also do their yard work only between 9 and 10 o'clock at night, which is hmm. a little frustrating because it seems like they're home a lot. So they'll drink all weekend and then do their yard work Monday night when I'm trying to, you know, put my son to sleep. Or... What, what would you advise me to do? So if I go home now and they're playing music, I know you're still doing your thing. When, when should I Romeo call and report them? Mileage, seven, four, mm -hmm. two, seven, nine. So they're, they're playing music early today about four o'clock. Okay, yeah, before I came over here, my wife called me. She said they're playing music again. I was like, great, let me go. I didn't even hear it myself, but she's on video. So. Okay, talk to them about keep the music down. They give citation. Um, just we pull up and we hear it from the street. Um, Could you hear it when you pulled up? Yeah, my guy, the car mm -hmm. did. Um, so they request okay. that Madison, I guess, yeah, maybe well, on the property one point now, or. Yelled at her son or something. So. Oh well, yeah. I mean, they were partying at like one in the morning. She came, I think, knocked on the door and just so, their attention. They don't want her on the property at all. Any on the property at all. So if you have any issues, don't confirm. Call us, okay? Sure. And then also feel free to make a recording, send out your yard. That gives us an idea. Yeah, we've got Is there anything else? I mean, that they have the complained to get against us or like reasons why they might That's be doing this or. I think we've done wrong to them that they seem to always do. What they were upset was, I guess it was this early in the morning where she went on the property, knocked on the door, maybe yelled at the 14-year-old son, go get your mom, and you used some explicit, 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 it's a foul language. But the so if there's any more issues, just call us. We will, definitely. And okay. so did you ever get clarification about when too loud is, is too loud? Like. So there is no time frame. Okay. So whenever it's disturbing the peace, it's a violation. Okay. Thank you for letting me know that. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. You're Have welcome. a great evening. Be safe. You too. Thank you. So this time I didn't hear a lot of music, but I did hear a lot of yelling and screaming. Uh, I mean, I was just sitting out here the total time this TV and waiting for y'all to come back. Yeah. I mean, I've been, I was sitting right around where that yeah. car is. Uh, so like I said, I did hear it. So I remember I could take a lot of music. So this time I didn't hear a lot of music. Uh, so like I said, I did hear it, so I remember I could take a lot of music. So, this time I didn't hear a lot of music. Uh, so like I said, I did hear it, so I remember I could take a lot of music. Alright, I'll take it. Um, you got some yard questions? Sure. Yeah. Um, which just means if we come out here again for any type of reason, unless it's a medical emergency or an actual food emergency, that you would be cited again for a disorder to have some possibly taken care of. Like I said, 
Yeah. It's over the house. Out there in the kitchen. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. not something I'm doing out there. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to. I mean, huh? This is not. You want to see my house? You want to go inside and look at my house? Uh, I don't have a disorderly house. You know, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. You're supposed to be It's not two o'clock in the afternoon out there. But it didn't matter. It don't matter. It's any time. At 2 okay. or 1, you can't I'm, kill it. First of all, I work night shift. I don't work during the day, so I can't speak on anything that happens between 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I can only speak from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. on the days that I work. Okay? Yeah. This early house has nothing to do with if you have a clean house or not. To be honest with you, disorderly house is the exact same thing as disorderly conduct, but just instead of a single person, it's a household. 